Hello and welcome to my channel. In the previous episode, I talked about uh, all developer tools for um, old PCs, like Turbo Pascal or Quick Basic. But now I introduce Quick Basic 3 and Quick Basic 4 and see all differences. Let's take a look uh, Quick Basic tools. For example, Quick Basic 3 version 3 is a quick basic developer environment they have a compiler inside and the editor instead the, the, the GW basic is the only interpreter but this is a, a early ID environment like ID like a modern ID they have uh, compiling options with uh, without debug or uh, generate uh, executable, compile into the memory, generate the ob object module to link to other modules and change this type of compi compilation. It's able to uh, configure from, uh, from the editor. Let's take a look at an example. For example, uh, this is a, a simple program and can uh, enable debug and support some features like uh, subroutines. This this type this type of basic is non non uh, line numbered and can able to uh, put uh, the, the iterations. Uh, and uh, make uh, subroutines and call them. Instead, the other, the, the other uh, later version of Quick Basic can support also subroutines. But uh, this uh, environment uh, in the file is in the same file, but uh, this is visualized in the same editor. The, la the latest versions of the Quick Basic editor. Uh, only view the main program on the on the editor. If you need to go to the other uh, uh, subroutine, you press F2 key and list of the subroutines. Let's take a look uh, around this program. You can start the program and the run program without any problem. But if you need a debug this program can uh, uh, execute line by line use the or F5 to execute the old code and uh, I can the focus uh, the horrible horrible focus of the my phone I use for the first videos of the phone you can see line by line the execution of the instructions and can the, the see the results above can the press stop can edit the line or continue go or edit the line f1 and put on the line that executes user interface of the quick basic and the under the editor the latest error the Cape break, cape reset, uh, succeeded, and can uh, um, remove this error window or visualize this error window. For example, if you need the 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 the, the jump of the next error, you don't have more errors, but can produce a one error. Here, for example, uh, divide by zero. And try to... Oh, the compiler detects this execution. Take a note, the basic is interpreted, the, the basic is, is interpreted language, but this uh, environment compile previously execution and execute them 
if exists any error on the code, stop and don't execute this, uh, this, this code because this is a constant and evaluate on compile time, not in execution time. For example, uh, row. This is a variable and this is maybe it's not an error compiled well, but is an execution error detected on execution. Can debug or edit. If press spacebar, appears the, the same error, division error, on the execution. This is the two types detected on the quick basic on the quick basic errors. The compile error occurs before the execution and prevents uh, the sum errors uh, is produced in execution. This is the difference between the, the GWU basic interpreter or other basic interpreters. The, the, the language execute line by line and interpret line by line and when error occurs, stop the program. This is a different kind of basic because this quick basic can compile previously the little compiler and verify if occur any errors on compile time. For example, the constants. This is the constant as it is divided by zero. If you compile this, you can't execute this code because it's a problem detected in compile time. It's better than uh, uh, other uh, interpreted languages without compilation. I see. I say this is a simple editor, but it's very useful than uh, GWU Basic. You use the same. You can use lines. Yes, you can use lines. Without any problem, you can compile, doesn't have any problem. You can combine the program with lines and without lines and with labels. For example, uh, you can put uh, any label on the code and compile without any problem. Okay. You can, um, with shift key and, and arrow keys, you can select, go to the edit, cut and paste. It's very, it's very useful than GW basic editor with edit and number line and some bloody things of the old uh, interpreter. You can use the delete. Well, this is the simple example of the Quick Basic 3. This is the, the early, earliest versions of the Microsoft Quick Basic with the compiler inside on the environment tool, on the developer tool. Simple. Can use the mouse, and I don't have any mouse for this computer. Let's take a look uh, uh, Quick Basic 4. It executes the same manner of the Quick Basic 3, but it has uh, more uh, uh, features. F the first feature is an immediate window under the editor. You can press F6 key to execute. For example, print, execute, uh, and evaluate using the basic interpreter. 2 plus 2, or uh, can can test the screen one circle example for example this is a, a, um, a immediate can execute the, the the basic instructions well if you can see they have a many many uh, options than the quick basic three the the pres the predecessor if open the previous code, the Quick Basic 3, call it back, can see only the main code, don't see the subroutines. If you can look the subroutines, can press F2 and list of the subroutines and functions. Because the Quick Basic supports the functions and subroutines, like a imperative language, like a procedure and function on Turbo Pascal 
or the C, in the C only exist the functions. Void functions and functions return the, the any type. In the quick basic four support more features on the language and the, and the user interface. Let's take a look at the list of the of the functions or or subroutines and can return the um, main program. I create function, for example, Fibonacci and and presenter that goes to the function editor and put the end function and function the header. It's a very simple environment to work with the functions, but this is, is very old. This is similar of Visual Basic. They have the same feature because they separate the editor for each subroutine or each function. For example, uh, I create the, the, this um, function of Fibonacci can uh, define if n is less than 2 returns this function 1 uh, the other language simple put the return and constant but this language need, needed these two lines to return the recursive is more simple and Fibonacci is a uh, Fibonacci the n minus one plus Fibonacci n minus two. Well, this is a recursive function called the Fibonacci function. We can put the, the comment of the in the code for don't execute this code. Okay. Uh, for example, can pre print the Fibonacci of 10. Let's execute one line by line the code. Can press break and continue. Just continue the function. Written, you can see the call, the base case of the recursion. We need the disable trace history and trace, for example, start. If you stop, can put the watch point, can see the, the all recursive calls of each uh, Fibonacci call. If you remember the, the Fibonacci function can be defined as recursive and the recursive function needs a stack for the store previous results and previous uh, addresses from from different calls and call the next uh, function. And you can see the call stack. This is a similar to call stack. This is a main, the first call, the next call, the next call, and so on. This, this environment can able to uh, a trace or simple trace of the calls. Set the, the history of and trace of and can execute or try execute without. This is a result. Can see the base, um, the base case one, two, three, etc. And ten. For example, we try or we can try. Uh, do uh, a breakpoint, a controlled breakpoint on this at a uh, toggle breakpoint on this a watch point, enter expression n, n equals 5 
we try this start and it stops. This is not complying this execution. Press F5. True. This is 5. 5. False. This is another call. Sometimes I try to uh, use the immediate window. I mismatch. Oh my god, it's not so good. Okay, it's, it's a manner of the check the, the value of uh, a variable. You can use the immediate window. Well, this is a main feature that has Quick Basic 4 and doesn't have Quick Basic 3. The debugger and the uh, uh, more advanced uh, user interface. This is a sneak peek of, of the Quick Basic editors. We can open another program with the function, uh, with the one function and one sub function. You can remove the syntax checking because this is functionality able to verify on the fly when you write the code a equals three. You look at, for example, if, if they put the key keyword put in the, the, the uppercase and check the, the syntax. I use it for example. I try to put the Pascal equals. Hey, this is a variable equal expected. Expected this. This is like a Visual Studio IntelliSense can uh, check the syntax, like uh, like uh, uh, C Lang in C or C plus plus. It can verify all semantic. If you write any any keyword on the bad order or not expected in the basic grammatic the editor uh, raise an error and expected you can disable syntax checking and compile and have the same error but you can uh, uh, activate the syntax checking or on on off uh, f2 is the soup subroutines and functions list. For example, if you need to split the window, you can split the window and put other windows in the same screen. You can look the, the sum function and press F, F6 for change the window. You can look the main program, then call to the menu subroutine and you can look the subroutine in the same screen. This is a very useful text user interface. This is a first look of quick basic versions. Well, in the next episode, we explore the more functionalities of the all developer tools. See you soon.